today's video, we will be adding our background and our character to our game. So, first you need to go to this link, pathbond.com slash download dash free dash assets, and you'll be able to download the character and background for our game. We'll be updating this page as the course progresses, so you'll be able to download all the assets you need on this page here. So if you just click this button here for character and background, that will download a zip file. Then you can simply unzip that and you'll have your character and background file. So let's dive straight into Python now. So this is the game code we've implemented so far. You can go back and rewatch the, the older videos in this series if you missed anything. So let's get started on actually adding our character to our game now. So the first thing we need to do is we actually need to import our assets into the game. So how can we do that? We'll just go right here, add two lines, so about on line 15. We're going to import our character. So we can do that by saying character, which is what we'll call our variable, equals by game dot image dot load. This is the process you have to go through to load the image into Pi game. So we have this character.png file, which is what we just downloaded. And we also have our, our background. I'll just call it grass underscore bg, short for background. And we'll do the same thing, Pi game image load. And then we'll just set that equal to grass underscore background dot png which is the name of our background file. So, we have our files imported, but we actually need to place them on the screen at, at a certain position. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to write a function to place our character on the screen at a certain position, and this function will be called in the game logic, because in the later video we'll go through and actually make it so you can change the position of the character. So we'll just call this def, and we'll say add character at location, and then we'll take an x y location for which we'll add our character, and we're going to add them to our game display. So game underscore display that blip, which is what you use to actually add a character to the screen. It's a pi game function, and we're going to add our character. Now, when you actually add the character to a particular location, you have to pass in a tuple. If you're not familiar with tuples, we also did a video on that in our Python basic series, so you can go back and rewatch that. And the, and the location will be a tuple containing the xy coordinate, so we'll just pass in xy, which will be these arguments passed in here. So we're going to give our character an initial starting position. So we'll just set x equal to display width that 0.95. And we're going to put them on the right side of the screen at about the middle of the screen. So I'll tell you the x coordinate and then we can talk a little more about that. So this would be display height times 0 0.5 because we want to be in the middle of the screen. Actually, they're just called width and height, not display width and display height. So let me change that. So these numbers here, these floating point numbers, you sort of have to just twiddle around and figure out what do you actually want these numbers to be. And I just come to the conclusion that uh, 0.95 for the x and 0.5 for the y are good numbers and that would be a good place to, place our, to put our character in. Alright, so let's actually go back into our main loop and this is where we'll add our character. So all we're going to do here is we're going to call our add character at location function and we're going to add in our background. So we'll do that just outside of this for loop. Actually, we can delete this fill with white color and we'll place that with our background. So we can do game display, game display, and we'll do our dot blit and we'll add our class background. Once again, we need a tuple, and we'll just put it directly at 0, 0. And then the next thing we need to do is add our character. So we'll call our add character at location function, and we'll just pass in x and y for now. We will go back and update these later once we actually add some movement into our game. And then this will just update the display. And so this is all we need to do. We'll save this file, and if we run it, it might take a couple of seconds. But eventually what we'll see is now we have our grass background and our character on the screen. In a later video we'll add movement and randomly spawn some enemies. 
and then we'll actually implement some game logic and we'll have a, a fully built game. So that's it for this week's video. If you like this video, then please like, comment, and subscribe, and also visit piathlon.com and be sure to support us so we can continue to make this, this free content and some inexpensive content, as well as some paid content that will be on our website. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.